The cute or kawaii doll-like fashion subcultures in Tokyo have captured the imagination of many. The look is inspired by a quirky mix of historical fashion and pop culture. Embodying nostalgia and playfulness in their style, these girls believe in the power of cuteness. But what is the meaning behind the style? And what ideas does this convey about gender and power in fashion? Hi, I'm Meg Russell and I'm a PhD candidate at the School of Social Sciences, University of New South Wales. I'm a sociologist who specialises in kawaii fashion subcultures. This means that I visually analyse the clothing, cosmetics and products consumed by those who participate in kawaii fashion subcultures. I intend to gain a deeper social understanding of the feminine code this subculture uses. A subculture is a group that's embedded within wider society and they have their own collective set of values and behaviours. Subcultures appropriate symbols from the everyday and then change them so they have their own unique meaning. For example, kawaii fashion subcultures will often appropriate images of girlhood, such as the doll, and then incorporate that into their hyper-feminine style. This study of signs and symbols is known as semiotics. Studying subcultures helps us better understand how these groups of people negotiate power. In early subcultural studies, it was thought that these groups were deviant, confronting the mainstream power which governs the way many of us think and feel. My research looks at the idea of play, and how these groups reject top-down power by creating new spaces altogether, separate to the mainstream. My research also helps us understand feminine subcultures and the symbols they use. Kawaii subcultures appropriate a lot of girly imagery in their style, which is unusual because it's not very tough and reproduces gender expectations in society. For example, the idea that girls be passive, wear dresses, wear makeup and so on. My research is the first that tries to make sense of this feminine code. I've just started to present at conferences and I'm preparing my first general publications. I'm really excited to share the visual story of Tokyo's fashion subcultures.